Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Diggity, and today we have the first episode of many, hopefully, of GTA Online Pimp My Rides. As you see here, this new, oh, as you see here, this new car just dropped. It's called the Class A, the Class, whatever you want to call it, Tahoma Coupe. Uh, it's obviously based off of the Chevy Monte Carlo. Um, I don't know, in terms of, like, looks, I drove it down here to my, uh, office garage, so I actually put it in a different garage, I didn't mean to do that, but in terms of, like, looks, I don't, I'm, I just don't know if I'm the, necessarily the biggest fan, by the way, this office garage we're gonna keep for right now, and we're gonna add up all, all the first 30 episodes of Pit My Ride vehicles are all gonna go in here, I think there's 30 cars that can fit in these, these garages, right, 30 or 20, whatever, you know how many, but those, they're all going to go in here. So today's first episode is the Tahoma Coupe. It just launched, I think, four days ago. We'll be keeping up to date on all the like new cars and everything like that. Um, it's obviously in the muscle class. And yeah, let's get into it. Modify my vehicle. I want to go into my auto shop. I just want to say really quick, friend. All right. Listen up, buddy. If you didn't get this freaking shark floor for your auto shop, you're doing it wrong. The shark floor is the coolest floor. All right. For the series, by the way, we're not going to be upgrading armor. We're not going to be upgrading brakes, but we will be upgrading the engine, turbo, transmission, all the ones that actually make a difference. Front bumpers. All right. So we got the chrome bumper, black bumper, chrome classic bumper, or black classic bumper. I'm going to go with the chrome classic bumper. I think that looks just dandy, just handy dandy mandy. I don't understand really why you would get the black ones, to be honest. You could just paint the car black, but whatever. Rear bumper, stock rear bumper. Chrome rear bumper, black bumper, chrome classic bumper, black classic bumper. We're gonna go with the chrome classic bumper, boys. We're staying in that in that era. Engine upgrades, exhaust. Okay, we got race exhaust. Oh boy, she par she farted on me a little bit. She farted on me. You can can you rev in that here? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that sound good. Now don't it? Yeah, that sound good. It sounds like some American muscle. Big bore exhaust. It looks like a little bit wider than the last one. Slash cut exhaust. It's okay. Oh, side exit. Well, chrome side exits. Titanium side exits. Titanium doesn't make much sense on a muscle car, but chrome fender cutouts. It's kind of cool, actually. Slash cut fender cutouts. Titanium fender cutouts. Or slash titanium fender cutouts. I do like those titanium fender cutouts, to be honest. But I don't know if uh, I'm going to necessarily want it up there. Does it Does it take... Does that, is that part of the exhaust? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It adds like a little bit. You know what? Yeah, I guess I will. I don't think there's any other car. It's a, it's a kind of unique, so we'll do it. Hood. Secondary hood. High cowl induction hood. Secondary high cowl induction hood. Dual filter blower. Large filter blower. Oval intake. Bug catcher. Triple intake. Bug catcher. Bug catcher. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with any of the blowers. I know it sounds crazy, but I think I'm just going to go with the high cowl induction hood. I know everybody's probably putting the freaking blowers on theirs and making it look like a muscle car. I just want to make it look like a simple old little american you know american cool boy car i don't do horns so lights headlights you gotta go with the xenons even though it's like a classic car you gotta do the xenons buddy like if you're not doing xenons you're doing it wrong we're not gonna do a neon though because this car does not need neon it is a freaking muscle car they don't do neons all right for liveries we got black stripes usually i don't do liveries but we'll see white stripes red vines that's pretty cool actually color vines patriot all right, and once it gets like these liveries, I usually don't like them. Although I might have to go with the flames though, because it is, you know, it is it is like typical, you know, <laughs> old style. Okay, so I mean, it has a couple of pretty decent ones, honestly. This I don't like at all. The Patriot one, I don't like that. I know it's based off of the freaking um, uh, real life version. There's some real life version that uses that paint job. I don't care. I don't like it. It looks kind of weird. Um, I don't know what I want to do to it, to be honest. Not the stripes. I actually kind of like the flames. I'm kind of digging the flames. The only problem with flames, though, is if you do flames, you're pretty much restricting yourself to the color being either white or black, because not a lot of colors look good with flames on them. So it's either white or black, and that's about it. So it's like, it's kind of questionable. But I mean, I do kind of like the classic white pinstripes, too, even though it's so... Now, you know what? I'm going to do the flames. I'm going to do the flames. 23K. Usually, I don't even do liveries, but just it just looks so, it just looks so dandy on this car, like... Mirrors, secondary mirrors, chrome rounded mirrors, chrome squared mirrors, chrome vintage mirrors, secondary classic mirrors, chrome classic mirrors, top vintage mirrors. Okay, we're not going to do the top ones, those are kind of weird. 
Um, we're gonna do. Honestly, I'm thinking. I'm thinking the chrome squared. I like the chrome squared. Plate. Yellow and black. Because I'm most likely gonna respray it black. We'll come back to respray though. It only takes me a while to pick respray, so we'll go into that in a second. Roof rack. Small roof rack. Large roof rack. Chrome roof rack. Luggage rack. Large luggage rack. Chrome luggage rack. What? Wow, this is a tongue twister. Surfboard. Secondary roof. Sunroof. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Secondary sunroof. Now I wonder if I do a secondary sunroof. I'm gonna do the secondary sunroof because I want the sunroof anyway. And I'm gonna see what that. Okay, ooh, we got splitters. Black splitter. Chrome splitter. Secondary splitter. Um, I don't even know if I want any splitter to be honest. Um, no, we'll go with the chrome splitter. We might change that though. Suspension. Oh my lord! <laughs> what? I, that, I don't need all that. That looks ridiculous. That just looks ridiculous, dude. Not on a muscle car. No, no, no. You don't, you don't need that on a muscle car. But I guess we'll do this. Honestly, the, even the sport suspension is kind of low. I guess we'll do the street suspension. That it, it's a muscle. I don't think a muscle car needs to be lowered. You know what I mean? Right, transmission, race transmission, turbo, turbo tuning. Wheels and windows. We'll do the windows real quick. Limo tint. Wheels. All right. Now we're going to do... No, not high end. Why did I go into high end? Oh my god, a ladybug just kamikaze itself into my face. But anyway, um, okay, low rider, low rider wheels. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got for the low rider wheels? I mean, obviously, we gotta put the low rider wheels on there. Oh, you could do the money wheels. I'm not gonna do the money wheels. I, I feel like this is like I'm almost making this into like sort of like an actual like muscle car build rather than a low rider build. So I feel like a muscle car wheels like these Dukes or the low fives would be ideal to be honest i think i'm gonna go with the i think i'm gonna go with the dukes i'm gonna go with the dukes of hazard there buddy now for the color yeah we're gonna do some black on there i like that tires tire design custom tire. no <laughs> tire enhancements no i don't need any okay so that's it for the wheels now let's go change the color color is always so hard but i'm pretty sure this one i'm gonna be pretty pretty basic and just do a white and on um, black to be honest because it's got flames on it and the flames kind of like like i said they kind of restrict you almost so you don't really want to do too much when you got uh when you got that on there now i'm wondering if i should do the roof black in the car white or the car black in the roof white i'm gonna try this way i'm gonna try the ice white normal and then secondary will be black goodness gracious you gotta go all the way oh wait i should have gone up whatever oh there we go okay yeah, yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. But now I'm starting to question whether or not I made the right choice with the chrome bumpers. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna go back, buddy. Oh, wait, we got trim color, too. I didn't see that. Oh, okay, it's just the inside. We're gonna do white trim for the inside. Uh, in terms of crew emblem, it would go right there. I don't have. I'm not in a crew right now, so <laughs> I should probably do that for those. Uh, it would go on the side though. But anyway, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, change the uh, so splitter actually. We do the secondary splitter. Yeah, we we'll do the secondary splitter. And then for the bumpers, for the front bumpers, we'll do the black classic. And for the rear bumpers, we'll do the black classic. I made fun of people for choosing the black one before, but we came back and we're doing the black now. Okay, exit to ground. I think I'm ready, right? I think that's it. Let me rev her up again a little bit. Oh yeah, she comes out to front now. She's meaty. Exit the ground, exit the ground. Let's get out of here. See how she performs and how she looks, hopefully in the daytime. I really am hoping that it's daytime out. It's probably not gonna be though, because that's just my luck. So I guess we'll see. Oh, and it's not. Of course it isn't. But, oh, whoops, I went too far. Here she is outdoors. She's looking pretty good. I see a lot of people modify these, and they put, like, the giant blowers on them and the freaking massive, like, splitters and stuff like that. And they just, like, kind of do all kinds of, like, it's almost like a lowrider build, but then they'll put a blower on it, too. And at that point, it just doesn't make any sense because now you're a lowrider with a blow. I don't see lowriders with blowers too often, but either way, 
here we go. I want to put it somewhere where you guys can actually see it better. Where is a good place to do that? Right here? Would this be a good place to do that? Alright, let's you know what? Instead of doing that, let's give her a little bit of a let's give her a little bit of a test drive here. Now obviously this is in the muscles class and but it's nowhere near competitive in terms of like muscle car performance. So if you're looking for an actual like performing car, it, this thing does sound good by the way. But if you're looking for an actual like good performing muscle car, this is not the one. Uh, this one is pretty good though in terms of like customization. It has a lot of customization to be honest. A surprising amount. Um, and it's almost like a lowrider but without the Benny's lowrider like addition to it. So it's kind of it's kind of like questionable. It's, it's weird. It's like it want it's almost like it wants to be a Benny's car, but it's not a Benny's car. I do like it though a lot to be honest. I don't like the back end. <laughs> That's I will say that I'm not a big fan of the back end of it. It looks kind of like it looks like it got like the, like it got punched in the back, like, like the crimson chin but reversed. Don't know if I, oh oh Jesus I'm sorry everybody I didn't realize I was coming through here at such high speeds high calibers you know we'll, put, we'll park it right here. This isn't that lit up. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on now. We'll park it in here. Sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah. And I can get a good thumbnail right here. Key Money invited me to a party. I don't even know who that is. But Key Money just invited me to a party. Look at this freaking... Oh, hold on. Look at that thing. That thing looks pretty cool. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, so in terms of performance, like I said, not gonna, not gonna be competitive. Not in the muscle cars class. It looks incredible, in my opinion, from the front. Now from the back, not the biggest fan, but it's okay. It has a lot of customization. Overall, I'd give her, I'm gonna be brutally honest here. From now on, I'm gonna be brutally honest in these Pimp My Rides, all right, buddy? I'm gonna give it a four out of 10, four out of 10. It's a little bit below average in my opinion, it really is. It's not anything to write home about. Now, obviously, if you like the Chevy Monte Carlo and you just really want a Chevy Monte Carlo, then yeah, it's obviously go buy it. Don't, don't let my opinion take you away from what you actually like but in my opinion from a guy who doesn't really care too much about the whole Chevy Monte Carlo it's all right it's all right it has a lot of customization doesn't perform that well looks weird from the back it looks aggressive from the front I like it though in a way it's got a cool charm to it but yeah this is the end of the first episode of Pimp My Ride for GTA Online uh, if you guys want to see more be sure to subscribe we're gonna hopefully we're gonna try and do every single um, car in the game I'm going to try to modify every car in the game so you guys can see everything that every car does and all their modifications and what I would personally modify them as. And uh, who knows if that will actually ever truly happen because there's like over 600 cars in the game now. I think close to 700 now, actually. So who knows if that will ever actually happen, but we're going to try to make it happen. I do have a decent amount of money. I'm not going to lie, I did buy a modded account. It's honestly just so clutch. I paid like 60 bucks for it and I got so much money, so... But, um, uh, is, but I might run out of money. I might, you know, GTA 6 might come out by the time I'm done with this freaking series because there's so many cars. But either way, though, let me know what cars you do want to see next. This is going to be a fun series. I can, so, and I would love to see what you guys would want to see me, uh, want to see me build, want to see my take on it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, if you liked the Tahoma Coupe customization, Pimp My Ride, whatever you want to call it, episode number one, the start to something great, hopefully, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. With all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. Das Vidania, have a nice night.